Asking self-affirming or rhetorical questions is not how you establish a collaborative workspace at work. Self-affirming questions like, do you see what I mean? Don't you agree? Really don't give the other person any wiggle room and turning it into a yes, no question is not going to make the person be able to collaborate and actually come up with more ideas with whatever you're trying to figure out. So instead of curiosity and openness, this is showing that you've made your decision and you're trying to get buy-in to make yourself feel better. Instead of trying to cultivate curiosity and getting feedback and information from the rest of the people around you. So asking genuine questions of the people around you in an attempt to actually get more input and more collaboration is a leadership skill that takes effort and you need to pay attention to it. So this is not going to magically occur, or magically happen. You need to start paying attention to the way that you're asking questions, as well as if you're shutting off people from giving you feedback or ideas, or if you are actually genuinely asking and looking for feedback and ideas. Even if you're still an individual contributor engineer, you do not want to be known as the best problem solver. You want to be known as a great problem solver and a great team player. Becoming a great team player is going to help you grow your professional network. And it's been shown time and time again, the people with the best professional networks are always the top performers because they know who to call and they have the network to support getting more done in the same amount of time. If you're the best at solving some particular problem, but you refuse to get genuine help from anyone else, because you haven't fostered that environment or grown that network, you're still going to be stifling yourself in your career long-term. So you need to change this environment. It doesn't have to be a huge change, but change your environment to bring more openness and genuine curiosity to know what the people around you think about the problems that you are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. So stop just trying to feel good about whatever idea you've come up with and start collaborating better with your team. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay. Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.